It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Wednesday, the 2nd of December. I'm Michael Groff. Dry conditions and temperatures pretty close to seasonal averages today. The breezes will start to pick up tonight, and by tomorrow we turn a bit cooler. Get ready, though, because the coldest temperatures we've had so far this season in here, potentially on Friday and Saturday morning. Readings could get pretty close to freezing in some of the coldest valley locations. A bit of a warming trend for the weekend and early next week. And then quite a bit of forecast uncertainty beyond that point, which we'll talk about. All right, let's dive in and take a look at it. Yesterday, 71 degrees, the afternoon high, 45 the morning low, pretty close to where we ought to be for the first day of December. Unfortunately, we're way behind on rainfall and doesn't look like we're going to be catching up to that anytime soon. Outside now here at 5.50 a.m., clear sky out there. We're starting out at 46 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew points at 26, relative humidity 46%. The wind for the moment is calm and the barometer is rising. Temperatures out there this morning are just all over the place, as we've seen for the last couple of mornings thanks to some local breezes. For example, it's 31 at Goldfield, 32 Fort McDowell's in the 30s at Chandler, Gilbert. And look out there toward Goodyear, Goodyear Airport right now at 39 degrees. But you go just north of there toward Surprise, it's 55. And so we have a lot of 40s and low 50s elsewhere. Here's the upper air look across the country. We have a big trough over the northeast that's pulled down plenty of cold air all the way to the Gulf Coast. There's another low out there moving southward into the central plains with a trailing system, sort of a double-barreled action to our trough just to the east of our state, with that low moving southward through the central Rockies. And I told you it's cold all the way down to the Gulf Coast. Look at this. Temperatures in the 20s for places like Mobile and Biloxi, Mississippi, and even down into North Florida this morning. So it's very chilly. 30s for Tampa Bay and Orlando. It's even in the upper 40s and 50s in South Florida. Wow. Here's the watch warning map. No surprise, a few of those same locations have some freeze warnings. We have air stagnation advisories over the Pacific Northwest. Winter weather advisories for parts of Colorado, New Mexico, the Texas and Oklahoma panhandles, and Kansas. Convective outlook for today, a little sliver of a marginal risk zone there for the upper Texas and southern Louisiana coast. And precipitation around here, valid through next Wednesday morning from the WPC. No rain in the valley, basically nothing statewide, but things turn more unsettled or at least uncertain beyond this period, which you'll see as we take a look at modeling. Here we go. The GFS, the 06Z run, valid at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Our double barrel low pressure area just off to the east of us, one lobe is over the Texas and Oklahoma border with another one moving into the southern Rockies. That system trails into eastern Arizona today and we'll start to see the pressure gradient increasing. So down at the surface, sunny skies, a beautiful day, highs upper 60s to near 70. Tonight we start to turn breezy though, clear sky here in Phoenix, but east to northeast winds picking up 10 to 20 miles per hour, could see gusts to as high as 30 miles per hour at times. Forecasting overnight lows will be tricky tonight. Uh, some spots, wind-sheltered areas, get down in the low 40s perhaps, but there will be many places in the low and middle 50s. And then tomorrow, sunny, windy at times. Again, northeast winds, 10 to 20, gusts as high as 30 miles per hour here in Phoenix, higher gusts perhaps in northern Arizona as the pressure gradient continues to tighten. And high temperatures a bit cooler, likely in the mid-60s for the valley. Now, on Friday morning, again, temperatures will be very tricky. I would not be surprised to see some of the colder spots get down in the mid-30s, but we're still expecting some northeasterly breezes. So I think uh, many spots in the metro stay in the 40s overnight on Friday morning. Then the day on Friday, again, highs low to mid-60s, the sky's sunny. Saturday morning, the breezes died down, and I think that might be the coldest morning in some spots. Lows pretty close to freezing in the... Outlying areas for most of us, though, mid-30s to low 40s. The rest of the day, Saturday, looks nice. Highs getting pretty close to 70. And then we get into the low 70s on Sunday with high pressure still holding across most of the West, although an area of low pressure is beginning to develop over the Great Basin. And this is where our forecast uncertainty comes into the mix. You've seen a lot of different solutions on our videos over the last few days regarding the evolution of the pattern for next week. On Monday... That feature begins to drop down toward the Southern California coast. Tuesday, it's off of the Southern California coast, at least on this run of the GFS. 
might start to see a little bit of moisture increasing across northwest Mexico, southern California, if that verifies. Maybe a few showers down there, and we could turn at least partly cloudy. For now, of course, I'm going to keep the forecast dry at least all the way out through Tuesday. High temperatures will still be mild here. We're likely in the mid-70s. Some of the guidance even suggests we could be a little bit warmer than that. But then here's a week from today. This is Wednesday, the 9th of December. The upper low now moving eastward across southern Arizona, perhaps, or northern Mexico. And look at that. The GFS is bringing in scattered rain here across southern Arizona at that time with maybe some higher elevation snow. So that's an interesting look. And again, we have seen the models trending toward unsettled conditions for the middle part of next week. Here's Thursday the 10th. Now a second system drops down the west coast and deepens here over the greater southwest. And again, another round of showers and mountain snow would be in the forecast for us if this verifies. But again, take it with a grain of salt. We have seen a lot of different solutions out here. Now let's go out 10 days. This is Friday the 11th, and again, low pressure, negative height anomalies over the greater southwest, and this could lead to more unsettled and cool conditions. Again, if this is right, high temperatures by the middle and latter part of next week might not even make the 60-degree mark, but again, a lot is likely to change between now and then. All right, let's check out rainfall for the next couple of weeks off the European Ensemble. Uh, there are many members that show nothing, but how about the control member? And it's uh, up there towards six-tenths of an inch. So, again, model spread is increasing here. All right, temperatures off the national blend of models, a little bit cooler tomorrow and Friday. And then we get back in the 70s for a while. But really, as we get out again toward Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week, these numbers could be a lot lower than what you see here. We'll find out as co forecast confidence increases a bit. And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you enjoy these videos, be sure to subscribe, like, share, and click that notification bell so that whenever a brand new video is posted, you'll get the notice. Your comments, questions, and suggestions always encouraged as well. Thanks so much for watching. Really do appreciate it. Be safe out there. You guys have yourselves a fantastic Wednesday.